about time. This is what I hear time and time again from families and individuals such as myself who don't necessarily plan ahead that great. No time to get dinner prepped. I woke up this morning realizing that despite it being the second day of school and making sure that my children were alive and well fed, um, I had not made a plan for my work schedule now that my husband is going back to work. So what's for dinner? Pizza, probably, right? Like what, I have no meat out of the freezer, no nothing. So take a beat, think it through. You know, you have the tips and tools in your brain and your repertoire if you're in the course. If not, get in it um, to make it happen. So while I'm putting my face on this morning, got stew meat out of the freezer, chucked it in the sink to thaw as quickly as possible, got a little broth, got a little, got meat, we need our acid, right? So we have some apple cider vinegar that has the mother still in it, what's nice and probiotics in there. We have a little bit of tomato sauce, sprinkle that meat with some salt and pepper, Gonna throw in a little bit of arrow, like a starchy thing. So potato starch, um, arrowroot starch is a good one, tapioca starch if you're doing gluten-free stuff like we're gonna be teaching in the class. Um, and then I'm gonna chuck the meat and the sauce and the junk in the crock pot, run my butt to work because I managed to get my kids on the bus on time. Thank you, day two, <laughs> winning 100%. Um, and then when I get home from work, I'll have like 15 minutes. I can peel some carrots and chop some potatoes and steam them because I don't have time to do it right now. That doesn't mean I can't make a stew, right? So I'm gonna do when I get home, steam them real quick in the microwave. If you don't have a microwave, you are hardcore and I respect you and you are better than me uh, at planning ahead that you don't need a microwave. So I'm um, gonna throw that in and then we'll let it percolate for the next hour because then I have to run out again and have a meeting and have to have an appointment and then take the kids to youth group and all those things. So literally something really easy, nutrient dense, red meat once a week is kind of our go-to. Um.